friends, um, this is Twine 200, doing a quick video real quick about my 700 Nitro that I've been ha having problems with the tail, um, with the tail um, blowing out, whatever you want to call it, or no tail authority, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I found the problem, I think I found the problem in the process of now putting her back together, and <clears throat> after three shipments, I finally called Heli Direct um, on, f on Monday, because I thought they gave me the wrong part, in which they didn't, a line discontinue their 21 teeth for the front two for the front two rear gear so anyone with a 700 nitro with the dfc's head or whatever uh, that's a good thing to um to know that because you'll be spending 30 bucks like me down the drain but anyway you have to go with the black version of the new gear of the new torque front torque gear and it fits in nicely. It's in there now. I'm in the process of screwing her back together, getting her back in, and solid. And I realized the reason why I couldn't get my tail to uh, take off, why I kept acting funny, is here she go right here. Broken tooth. It's broke all the way down the center. All the way down the center, and it and it spin freely. Spin freely. See that? I can turn it. <laughs> so there I go. I think this got to be the reason why uh, I kept losing my tail when I'm trying to take off, when trying to hover, because I got a crack gear and this really ain't even serving the purpose. So okay, so I found out. Uh, thanks for everybody that tried to help me out and stuff. I appreciate it, and thanks, thanks for you know, thank you all you guys, man, for trying to help me out. You know what I mean? But I did, I did find a situation. It was a gear, a stupid gear. Hmm. But okay, well, um, I'll take care. Oh, if anybody got a 130x, I had problems with that. I got that up and running today too. Um, I had the same issue, a stupid gear, a stupid gear, the back rear gear, rear gear, and I, that tail kept blowing out. So I ended up buying a. Um, a new, um, I ended up buying a new fly bar that's 3-in-1, which I know I don't need. That's $90 down the drain. So anybody need one, just let me know. If you really, really, truly need one, I can hook you up with it. You know, problem, because I have no need for it. And I got that running nicely. I just flew that outside. There little uh, circles around the pool and stuff, so that's going around good. So, all right, everybody, um, have a great day and a great weekend coming up. And, and fly hard and don't spool up. And once again, thank everybody who tried to help me and they did help me. Appreciate you guys. Thanks.